Okay, here we are back with the Deutz DX90. This is the hydraulic lift cylinder. Um, has one of them with the option of two. Uh, this one is super simple. Uh, there is nothing that holds this rod into the barrel. It just slides out. So now I'm going to take out the two seals and I already checked the bore and it looked good. I'm going to double check it once I have the seals out of the way and we'll go from there. So let's see what happens. I'm not sure without the light you're going to be able to see much, but let me let me see here. So you can kind of see inside here and the seals here are at the end. The reason this doesn't come apart like I think I've mentioned in a previous video, is it is restricted by the travel of the three-point and a pin on each end, so it doesn't allow it to come apart. Okay. The seal kit, you can see, is pretty basic. One and two. <clears throat> So this one, as you can, I don't know if you can see that, is already crumbling apart as I try to get it out. I'm going to show you what, you know, what I can, but I make no guarantees on what you can see. But I'll pause and bring you in closer as I go. Yeah, this is just coming apart in chunks. Here is another chunk of the seal. I have to get all this out. Probably one of the easier ones I've probably done. Okay, so that is one seal out. Now we'll get this last one here. seal what I'm gonna do is go clean this again real quick and I'll catch you right back after I clean it got the barrel cleaned up gotta get these seals out all righty New seal. Flashlight. Let's see how I'm going to do that. My helper and partner in crime is a little vocal tonight. So these seals always go in a certain way. So make sure you pay attention. If you're going to take one apart, actually, let me see. I got a tool for this. One second, I'll show you. All right. So here is the round seal. And this is called the seal twister. So what you do is you would put this in here. And you flip it around. And it gets the seal just like this. And then that allows the seal to get put in the groove. I'm 
without messing it up. So there you have it. This seal is in. No problem. It's not the easiest to see. There we go. It's a pretty cool tool. Don't have to have it, but it is nice. So we got that in. Now, the hardest one. No, I'm just kidding. This is, like I said, probably the most basic, basic one we're gonna do. This one we wanna make sure is all the way in. Simple, easy to use. It's nice they do that, but at the same time, then I like to use a little bit of STP. A friend of mine was a big fan of STP. That's actually his can and still the same STP from when he had it. Alrighty, move you back here. This is just one small process of the Deutz. Thought I'd show you the cylinder as it was one of the problems and reasons why it came in. Which I'll show you another reason why. His, there we go, a little wiggle, twist. Suction on the hand. That's good. That's what I want to see. You're not obviously going to do that with a big cylinder, but... Alright, I'll catch you back here and we'll get it put on. Okay, so right here, we go uh, the top pin for the hydraulic cylinder. And down here, in between this casting, is where we put the pin that I had cleaned up in the lathe. So I'm going to try to start this lower pin first. Putting some anices on it right now. I think any any anices we can get on it will help. I can kind of start it here. On this one, this pin has to go first because it, that's all that holds it in. It slides in here and goes across and then has the uh, retaining pin to hold it. I'm just... Lubing inside the cylinder, pinholes on the cylinder too. So I got inside here lubed and here. Not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see. All righty. All right. Oh, see, even I forget sometimes. The pin before was way harder to get in and out. I gotta put it up on this top one first. There we go. Then we slide, then we slide this pin through. Yeah, it works way better now. Now you can see cylinders in both ends. Now I need to secure it. <clears throat> Which
Had a little washer here. And top is secured with the washer and a cotter pin. Let's see if I can't get you in here a little closer to see. Washer here. Nice tight fit, that's what I like. Okay. Pretty simple, cotter pin design like many others. And then this is that special pin on the bottom. Let's see. We can't. There we go. I'm going to try to get it actually back here. See if that ends up working. There we go. I like that better. So now the pin moves freely. I'll bend this cotter pin up here. Now we hook up this line, which I had already removed the ball that I had in there from before that blocked off the flow. Actually, let me get a pan. Looks like there's still some fluid in there. And I have new hydraulic fluid to put in. Yeah. Actually, I have some linkage that also has to go back. There we go. We'll get it eventually. It goes here. Two plates. Looks like a spacer plate. If I hold my tongue right, this only goes perfect one way. There we go. Got those started. I think the fluid, the little that was left, is done. So now we'll hook this up. Nice to get some of these metric wrenches out for a change here at home. 
let's use the directional wrench the way it should be. Short side towards the direction I'm trying to turn the nut. But in this case, whichever way it works. When you're working on a DX90, you can use the wrench however you want to use it. Now this seals on a taper. So snug is is a legitimate torque spec. Now I will snug up these two bolts here and then that'll get us where we can put some fluid in this. There we go. So got this snug and we'll tighten up these two bolts. That'll finish the install other than me adjusting that cotter pin. see what size those are. It's going to be one of these. Looks like 17 wins though. If you listen real close, you can hear the torques back. Okay. Well, we got that portion done. So now we'll come up here See if we can see it. Here is the dipstick. I'm going to try to get you set up here where I don't have to mess with it as much. So pull this out here, wipe the dipstick off. You can see here it's got, I don't know, there we go, line empty, line full. So it should be pretty straightforward. Let's get a funnel. We use the funnel buddy, funnel caddy. Hold your funnel in a convenient location on the wall for when you need it. I do not know how much goes in here, so we're going to go off of the dipstick. Sometimes it's just as good as a service manual. Yeah.
Looks like this is a two gallon jug. I'm gonna put this whole thing in and then check it. Pretty sure in the case of this, the spec was a hydraulic fluid, like a universal, or in this case, whatever the owner is using, he provided me with. And in these older tractors, I wouldn't go crazy with expensive hydraulic oil. Most of them end up leaking, and back then, their specs weren't as good as they are today, so if it was good back then, the cheaper stuff will still be good. Newer tractor, a lot more money, more expensive hydraulic components. I'd pay attention to exactly what the manufacturer says. Or if you want, you can just use the expensive stuff in everything you want. It's your tractor, your money. Let's see where we're at, shall we? I got you suspended by a very special DJI bungee cord. And it's working good. You can't even tell you're hanging from a bungee cord. We need more fluid. Nothing. Nothing on the stick. Another trick I do, which I'm not being the best to display here, is I'll put a zip tie in here next to my funnel to keep an air pocket. But I did not grab one. Although I kind of wish I did at this point. That air pocket will help you get this fluid going down the funnel quicker. And if you're lucky, spill it and make a bigger mess. Which is what I figured I would do now that I was on camera. I think that's a prerequisite. Now that everyone's watching, make a mess. There we go. Getting on the stick now. We're going to put her to the full mark just until... I end up finishing the brakes and getting this thing running. I will do the brakes next. Because I haven't filled that cylinder yet. Use it a little bit. Let this drain in there for a minute. But that looks good for now. So I will finish up this hydraulic fluid topping off and bend that one cotter pin. And then I'm gonna bring you back for the brakes.